So hello and welcome. This little thing in the center that is a tick and it's currently sucking blood uh, and this is how a tick looks like. It has eight legs. It basically is therefore related more to the spiders than to the insects and what we did is uh, we um, extracted one just recently and every time when we pull out a tick uh, from somebody's uh, skin then I always make a permanent mount using this tick and currently I'm placing it into Uporal mounting medium which is my favorite mounting, mounting medium of use and uh, in this uh, mounting medium the tick is preserved for a very very long time. Um, unfortunately I did make a little mistake here because the tick is now not in the center anymore but I think that's okay the mounting medium will still preserve it quite uh, quite well. Um, of course uh, everything uh, will go under the microscope uh, and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm observing it in low power. Ticks are quite large. This is a picture a, vi a video that my kid made so I had to include it as well. Let's me using the microscope and in dark field it looks like this uh, and you can see that the tick actually looks a little bit transparent. Um, it has uh, basically a semi-transparent body and I'm now using the 10 times magnifying on objective and I'm focusing in and out so that I can see the different layers uh, of the tick's body in, in focus. And uh, what we can also see is, is that uh, the tick does look hmm, a little bit damaged because there is something coming out at the back um, of the abdomen. Um, I don't quite know what it is, but maybe during the extraction process it got damaged a little bit. Um, and what we can also see is, is that one of its legs is missing. So on the top left you can actually see that this leg is a little bit shorter than the others. And the reason is, is, is that part of it was torn off. Um, but uh, I think uh, we still can see quite nice. Ah, this round structure here, that is, might be actually the so-called stigma. This is an opening in the exoskeleton um, of uh, the tick and this is how the tick actually gets air um, because there is a system of so-called trachea connected to it which supply the tick with, uh, with oxygen. This is in Brightfield, a picture, um, and this as well. And I think it does not quite look quite as nice um, as in Darkfield. It's a little bit difficult to see the structures, and that's again in Darkfield. Yeah, and every time when I get a tick, uh, I make a collection, I make a new slide, and I wish you a nice day. Happy microbe hunting, as always, and see you next time. Bye bye.